But you spend yeah. the time away from the the country, eh? You you moved up to the UK for a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To play a, footy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Took a contract over there, played for a couple of years. So. How was that, man? It's good, man. Like I never really wasn't much of a a traveler. Like I didn't really want to travel. Um, but yeah, the opportunity came up, and uh, my ex-wife now was she she always liked to travel. So yeah, we t- went over there. F- my son was only one. Been over there for two and a half years, and had a kid there, and <laughs> got another one on the way over there. So we had to come back because it's, <laughs> it's too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> but um, almost ended up in um, Dubai. I played a game over there with uh, Trevor Leader. Oh mm. wow! Yeah, yeah, and like um, did they do like an Anzac tournament every year, like Australia versus New Zealand? So I played in that game, and um, yeah, then he's like, oh, bro, come, 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 Dubai and play. He was running like Dubai Wasps or something. So I was gonna go there, but yeah, um, my partner at the time was. Not too keen on having a baby in Dubai, so. Mm. <laughs> Came Man, I heard a story, mm. Brad, and you gotta tell me if it's true or not. But I heard a story that you were locked out of a hotel one night, and one of the boys was there on tour with the, the Kiwis, and he said he saw you out. Is that a myth or is that a build-up story? I, I was locked see out. It. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Brad, can you tell me the story? Because okay, I've heard the story like ten times, and someone's always added the GST on it, Brad. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So what happened? Were you, were you out and about, or you just happened to bump into him at a couple thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just bumped into him at um. There's like a a bar over there, Kiwi bar or Aussie bar called the Redback. Mm. Yeah, and he was there for a few. Was it Dubai? Might have been. No, 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 it's in uh, London. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah and I just caught off him. It was good to see him actually. I mean, I think he might have even been out with like Steve Meadow. Yeah, and yeah. Yeah, because I was there with all like my English mates, and they thought I was famous as because I knew these guys yeah. from. <laughs> yeah. But I got that from the first week because uh, when I first landed there. We played on the Saturday, and then on the Sunday they're like, "Oh, come out and we'll go watch um one of the local, well, Premiership games." And I was like, "Oh yeah, all good." And then I was like, "Oh, was any Kiwis playing?" And they're like, "Oh yeah, um that Sam Two Tupu was playing." I was like, "Oh yeah, I know him." And they're like, "What?" And I was like, "Shut up!" And then after the game, I went down on the side, and then like Sam got me to climb over the fence and like gave me a big hug, and all my mates like obviously being from England were like. Ah, well, you know that guy like he's famous <laughs> uh, and then then I think it was like two weeks later we didn't watch the Harlequins play and James Johnston was playing oh, yeah so I went down and like having on to James and yeah all my mates were like man New Zealand's so small you know everyone over there <laughs> like, ah, you know we all blacks walk down the road and it's mm. just like hey mate <laughs> this is quite funny so what year was this when you went over to the UK uh 2009 yeah came back 2000 in the 2011 2009 yeah, so, oh, yeah. and who were you playing for who was just club and wrestler uh, like London one yeah it was not not a high level bro it was just mm. just a way to get overseas really they paid for all my stuff so but that's so been the pool for it. a lot of um, people from here that, that play they play um, they play rugby union but it's sort of like the the, the heights of playing rugby is playing in super rugby making all blacks but then the alternative is yeah you get these contracts overseas the japan france england ireland you know and you can make a good living doing that eh? yeah so many opportunities now for yeah. kids eh? it's heaps yeah. so yeah i sort of came to that realization that i wasn't gonna make it i had a year down in palmy down at Menno too went down had a club rugby season down there and was on the fringe squad there then came back but then had my first son so Family comes first, mate. <laughs> Rugby is <laughs> just a pipe dream. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, nah, it's good though. I remember when I was in um, England, like, and it'll always probably be one of my best ever rugby memories was I played in a game just after they had the, what have been the Christchurch earthquakes? And they had those real bad Brisbane floods. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so yep. they had, they organised this charity game and I got a phone call from someone, I can't remember, and come play in this game. And I was like, oh, yeah. And they said, oh, it's a fundraiser, like, it's going to be quite a big event. Didn't realise I turned up to the game and then George Smith walks in and Jerry Collins and the Twilungies <laughs> all walk in there. And then so yeah, we ended up playing a, a charity game. It's quite a quite an awesome game and I never forget making a tackle with George Smith. I ended up playing on the Aussie team. It's probably because I was white. <laughs> 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 Me and George Smith tackled Jerry Collins and like he got him low and then I got up and like I ripped the ball off <laughs> and then I was just, I was about to take off my boots I'm retiring on that. Like <laughs> <laughs> like my best moment. Eh? I was like, Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that oh, was good, man. So that club you played for in England, um, what sort of um, status is it? Like, oh, no, nah, it's, it's, it's down by like League 5 or something. Oh. It was more just, yeah. 
Yeah, just just a bit of fun there. Like they wouldn't be able to compete with the Auckland clubs here. Mm. So it was more just a way to travel. It was good. I enjoyed it. Was there any other guys from other other countries there? Yeah, yeah so when I turned up and and my team, we had uh, a mate of mine. Well, um, from Messi. Yeah, yeah, I didn't even know, but he was there. Um, we had a couple of other Kiwis. Guy from Christchurch. Guy from Dunedin. Yeah. There's, there's quite a few floating around over there. Guys, you sort of use it as a way of an OE because, you know, they pay for all your flights and I think I was getting about £100, £100 a game. So it's just a bit of beer money on the weekends and, yeah. yeah. Work a few days a week is good. Good way to travel, but, yeah, it's come home and be an adult. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>